This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. Okay, I've said that dice can be very versatile. Well, you can use them even for teaching things like the time. So this is a very simple little dice and we've drawn clock faces on it um, with different times. Now this clock again has been made from just from a, an old piece of cardboard, cut out hands from um, card marker pen for the numbers and the two holes made in the hands and then just a bit of string. If it's plastic string, you can melt it to make your stud and the teacher can then use this. So you could use the dice as flashcards. So you could ask um, the children, right, to make, for instance, half past 12, and then they can find um, half past 12 um, on a dice and hold it up and show the teacher. Um, that's another example. And say, okay, we're gonna make um, nine o'clock. And so again, they can find nine o'clock, look on the dice, right? And then see when they find nine o'clock and hold that up. Yeah, and show the teacher. So you can use it with a clock. Another way that you can use the dice is you could play a game. So you could ask your partner to find a time. And you could say, can you find six o'clock? So they look on the dice and then they show you six o'clock. Yeah. You could ask them to roll, you know six o'clock's on this date, so keep rolling and say the time. So I'm gonna roll the dice, I'm looking for six o'clock. No, this is four o'clock. Roll again. No, this is two o'clock. So you're still practicing telling the time while looking for your target that your friend has given you, which in this case is six o'clock. You can also use it as a matching. So you can have some simple little flashcards and you find and you match the time to the flashcards play a game. You could even turn them upside down and take it in turns, turn over a card, match it, find it. Yeah, or even, okay, I want to find half past seven. I'm going to keep rolling until I found half past six. I found half past nine. I found half past 11 and so on until you eventually find your answer. So lots of different ways, lots of different games, and the children will be able to come up with their own ideas and their own games. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners.